Hi, we're going to be making an Earth for Earth Day. Today I'm going to go through the steps, show you how to do it. Um, I have um, you found a big cardboard circle to use. You can use any side cardboard for your uh, already pre-cut for your circle, or you can use a Tupperware um, lid or a smaller lid, depending on the size you want to make it. And you want to make sure your pattern, make your pattern first. And then let the kids trace around it on a piece of paper and cut it out. You need blue and green paint. Um, this is acrylic paint, but I, working with kids, I really like to use temper paint. I just didn't have any here. You need the pair of scissors to cut it out. You need no brushes. You need um, two wide mouth. These can be recyclable um, bowls, wide mouth. And then you can use newsprint. Uh, if you don't have newsprint, you can use, this is actually old tissue paper. And you wad it up, and I'm going to show you the process. It's pretty quick. What we're going to do first is make, with the blue, we're going to dip in with the blue, and we're going to make a Y shape. Just blotting. This is really easy for the kids to do, and they love it. And then we're going to come through like this. And go this way. The kids really enjoy the blotting. It's really easy to do with something different than using a brush. So basically what we're doing is just trying to get... Um, an area in for the land. Next, we're going to take and put some green. We dip it in the green. And you fill in the areas that are not the blue. And what you want it to do is just look, look like the land shapes on the earth. Um, they can pretty much, this is foolproof they can do it whatever I'm gonna put a little bit down here too and we're gonna put some more on this area and you just keep dabbing it around these start dry pretty quickly but they need to be totally dry before you do anything else with them. Um, a good project is to have the kids think about what they appreciate of the earth and then after they dry, draw and cut out um, those shapes and put them on here. This makes a really good a display for a bulletin board. It can also be done at home with kids. And there you have it. So there's our project. Be sure and check out my blog, www.jancwatford.com. Thanks.